services. I would buy other people's labor. I wouldn't have to clean anymore or run stupid errands, or deal with leaky taps or any of that other little annoying accessory stuff for daily life. I would add to that, no only cleaners, but organizers, people who tidy up mess for me, I just keep moving it from one spot to another, and have no clue how to orderly put it away, a personal assistant to make appointments for me, and drive me there, and a cook. The assistant organizes things for leaky tabs etc too, and a shopper. I do have cleaners, but we are three people, so we can share the costs. We are all disabled, so life would be lots easier with more help. Getting a personal chef, would love that. And a personal trainer. A hour long massage once a week. Who oh yes, every day if money was no object. A bathroom renovation with a soaking tub. Instead of planning on doing the work myself I'd just hire someone to do everything. My last apartment had soaking tubs. Holy heck are they amazing 3. I came from a poor household and, just when my life started getting better, as a working adult, here comes inflation. I want a lot of things but here's a few. A nice house, whole body and mind medical checkup, variety of food, travel, and experiences that cost money. I feel yeah. Finally had down payment and work history to buy a home. Growing up we always lived in someone else's place. As an adult renting was such a luxury because even though we didn't own it, at least it was only us living there. And then all this happened. Slash. Only flying first class. We looked into this recently and holy crap do you now get the S asterisk 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 end of the stick 3, 4x the price and your upgrade is only sort of better. Oh 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 my drink is in a glass. I get slightly better snacks. If mun is no problem I'm going with private jet. If money was no object, owning a home would be nice. That feels like a luxury this day and age. In terms of treating myself the last 12 months, probably my book collection. Nothing extravagant or luxurious, no signed or rare copies or anything like that, but I've been adding new books to my shelf and Kindle whenever I can afford to over the past year and it's made me so happy to watch my collection grow. I don't know if it could interest you, but Z Library is an online library with thousands of books and articles in a lot of languages, they are completely free, and you don't have to register. I use it to download books, to read on my Kindle, and it changed my life. A vacation. Not camping or going to an overcrowded amusement park, a real vacation, I'm talking 5 star resort. I have done nothing to treat myself in, well my oldest just turned 14, so 14 years lol. Who are this I can relate to? I'd love to join lol single mom here, and could use a vacation. I would buy myself a house on the beach in a warm country, and go there in the summer. The most beautiful thing I've done for myself in the last 12 months is to get rid of my poisonous relationship with my ex. I would do this, but go there in the winter. I would pay a personal chef to prep and cook all meals and snacks. A nice home with some extra land, so I could make a vegetable garden, fruit orchard, and have a small lake there for some ducks, and a chicken coop for some hens and a rooster. This would of course be for my family of four, with inclusion of three dogs, a vintage open spaced French kitchen. So basically, my boyfriend and I's dream house, except I get to decide the backyard and kitchen, while he gets the basement and the gaming room. Colon close bracket. Perfume. I want so many different perfumes, it's ridiculous. I work at a factory that produces so many perfumes and we get a free box full every six months. It'll give it all to you please empty my house of this. One of those fancy Japanese toilets or something. This isn't really something I treated asterisk myself asterisk to, but I just upgraded my bearded dragon's UVB light, and I'm so happy about it. She seems to love it. That's the most selfless thing I've seen on here, and it's so wholesome lol. I would love a good bed. What have I done in the past year to treat myself? Nothing. Sweets, games, a dog, crab slash lobster slash jumbo shrimp, silk bed sheets and pillowcases, a house, those are a luxury now. Edit, I treated myself recently by buying a new dress and a video game and eating Japanese cheese cake. Which video game? 
Honestly a massage chair. My body is so tensed up all the time and my headaches are worse than ever. Not sure if it's relevant for you, but I've seen them on FB Marketplace for $300-400 which is much cheaper than buying them new. I got the car slash foot massager for $50. A lodge in the mountains. Massages. I'm perpetually atchy and massages help, but they are too expensive to be a regular thing. I'd have one once a week, if I could afford it. Do you have a local massage school? I get mine there, and they're a lot more affordable. Usually 50 minutes is $30. A big house in Tokyo. That's all I need. Give me a house and I'll pay for my food, and save for the future. Shit, I'll take a small apartment in somewhere like Tokyo. A home caretaker. Someone to clean, and run errands for me. Possibly cook but I do enjoy that. If money was no object it would be important to me that they are paid a living wage, as I would want to make sure they also have a positive work-life balance. When I was little, I had a bunch of screech horses and a few other animals, I was told they were for me, and even picked them out, because that's what I trusted to be true. They were bought by a friend of the family's, and I was only allowed to play with them at her house. Semicolon. Years have gone by, contact had been lost, and I never got to have my figurines back. But there's one I keep thinking about, that I really 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 would love to have again. The 2003-2004 black and white tinker horse mare. She was my favorite and I feel so attached to it for some reason. So I'd choose that mare, she's special to me for some reason. I can't find any listings of one that's in a decent enough shape for cheap enough though, pfff. Those are the little figurines you can get at places like co-op and tractor supply right. I still have my deluxe farm, set from 30 years ago, and might have some of those figures in the box too. That was my favorite toy and my dad saved it. An always on heater in the winter. With a humidifier to offset the dry air. Semicolon. Services. All of them. A cleaner. Someone to wash the car. Do the laundry a personal trainer. Weekly salon visits. And of course a system dehumidifier, so the water doesn't settle in the ducts. If everything else was covered, I'd love to have an iron cast wood stove. The kind you see in fairy tales, so I could sit in front of it during cold winter nights, and do my witchy things, drink tea, read books, and pet my cats. My grandma cooked on a cast iron wood stove until the day she died. She had a real stove. She didn't like it. She refused to use it, even in the hot summer of the south. She made homemade biscuits every single morning. Checked the temperature by holding her hand near the heat. She knew when it was exactly right. Maltese citizenship, so I can live anywhere in the EU. Are you cool and single? I've got a Swiss passport. We might be able to arrange a sham marriage, if you're into it. If money was no object, a house with a pool. What I bought to treat myself, so so many plants. Today I forked out 40 quid for a nice man to clean my oven. I have never ever paid anyone to do anything for me before, but I recently had a baby and it's now just too much work. I don't know if I'll do it again, but for those 45 minutes I honestly felt like a princess. And my oven is sparkling. A fully off grid, 4x4 RV. A house near the beach. A full-time housekeeper. I simply can't keep up with it all.